I'm definitely curious to see how this angle works. Hi guys, this is Connie. I'm watching <laughs> my new favorite, um, oh, what is it called? I can never figure out. Isn't it a shame as soon as I hit the record button, I just lose all sense of words that are in my normal vocabulary? Um, one of my guilty pleasures uh, as of late would have to be watching PewDiePie uh, and all the different jump scares and also getting jump scared. So Mustachio has watched me uh, in recent days just, you know, headphones in watching something and all of a sudden I'll be like, <sighs> that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is ranting, um, a lot of random rantings that I have currently been putting off. I was gonna do my nail challenge, but I'll probably do that in the next next video. I've got time. Um, I'm currently in Northern Virginia. I'm one of many counties that, um, the problem with Northern Virginia, well, how do I wanna go about this rant? Maybe I should start like outlining things because I don't usually script anything because it feels fake, but at the same time, ranting about some of the things I want to rant, I feel kind of hypocritical because I know that I've done some of the things that frustrate me and irritate me. And sometimes when I rant, it's only because, you know, like it's easier to see flaws in yourself in other people sometimes. So some of the things that frustrate me ultimately are frustrating because I know that I do them and I wish I didn't. So number one, lots and lots of light in this angle so hopefully you're not seeing some like washed out version i noticed i tried to do some try on scarves pictures in one of the uh, stairwells and some of them came out great and some of them came out yellowish Ugh. but um i wanted to look up what did i want to look up well first i need to put this on mute um I wanted to look up what the weather was like today all over the county. Um, because our county, our school county was given, now I'm a retired, well not even a retired technically. I have resigned after 10 years of being a school bus driver. So I'm still kind of immersed in the, the public uh, county school systems and I have a lot of uh, friends who are also in the school system as well. And today, I'm under the impression, at least through social media, that... Uh, Prince William County Public Schools had a two hour delay due to ice in certain areas and inclement weather forecast. So out of morbid curiosity, I want to know where the ice was because it was not cold this morning. Now, given I was not out there at bus driver time, so at four o'clock in the morning, I'm not sure how cold it was. And I would need somebody to verify, like it was really icy out. I could understand it from yesterday, there was some snow and when the snow decided to melt, it turned into the slush. So if you didn't treat your general vicinity, I absolutely could see myself slipping and falling on my stairs coming out of my townhouse, but I shoveled it. I got most of the slush out of the way before the refreeze at night, and it didn't feel like it was gonna be so cold that uh, it would necessitate dangerous conditions in the morning. Versus, now I know I'm not the only one and I'm sure this is beating a dead horse, but I wanted to get it out of my system because it's just, <sighs> the first Tuesday back from winter vacation in our county. Now, mind you, we're Northern Virginia. We get all four seasons, sometimes within the same month. However, comma, we are not prepared like some of the other Northern states, like Mustachio came from New York. So two to three inches is no big deal. You're gonna, they're gonna treat the roads, they're gonna take care of everything, and you're gonna go to school. Same thing in most of my, my friends that are from Michigan. They're like, this is nothing. 
why is everybody complaining? Because in Northern Virginia, thereabouts where we live, we're about 30 miles away from the district. There are a lot of people who are transplants, a lot of people who are not originally from ice and snow type uh, parts of the country. So there are a lot of people who don't know how to drive in the inclement weather. So it's incredibly frustrating for those of us who have learned how to adapt to driving in inclement weather conditions, i.e. snow, ice, slush, sleet, all that junk, we're okay with it. But the majority of the people that are out on the road don't know how to drive in it. So you're not only bombarding with the inclement weather, you're also dealing with very ignorant drivers who think, oh, it's just like rain. No, it's not. It's a lot colder than rain and you don't know if the roads have been treated. And apparently that Tuesday morning, the roads had not been treated appropriately because they were calling for a dusting. I don't know about you, but I've been living in this county, what, I'm 31 years old now? I've been living in this county since I was four or five years old. So I have, I can't do the math anymore. I have about 25 years of experience in this county. And in the time that I've been going to school and living in this county, a light dusting still necessitates treating the roads. Even if it's just a light dusting, you should be treating the roads already. So, you know, good on ya, VDOT, cause you totally botched that one. Number one, you know, did not treat the roads. Number two, um, I'm not a meteorologist, but all I have to do is pick up my phone and look at the weather app and the weather app Monday night said snow was coming. And I said, I know exactly what's gonna happen. The same thing that's happened verbatim every year since I've been driving a school bus. It's the first snowfall of our winter season coming back from holiday break. And they're not gonna call a delay. They're not gonna call a closing. They're gonna have people struggling to clean off their vehicles, to get out of their uh, neighborhoods. Some of these neighborhoods are more treacherous than other neighborhoods. Nothing will be treated, nothing will be plowed, and they're going to spend the next like first half an hour of them being up and out trying to not slip and slide into a ditch. And that's exactly what happened on Tuesday, is that they didn't call a delay. And to my knowledge, most of the, like I knew it, the snowfall wasn't supposed to come until 5 a.m. They, sh they are supposed to make a call by 5.30 at the latest. Um, so when people are, are out there at 3 a.m., nothing had fallen i totally get that but if you know just based on like i have an app on my phone for crying out loud like i'm not a meteorologist i didn't go to school for this but all you have to do is use common sense especially if the roads were not appropriately treated shame on northern virginia uh government people it was it was treacherous by the time you had people out in the thick of it um my other thing like even if it didn't look like there was inclement weather coming in the time to call it uh, to call it closed, we because of last year. Last year we had a lot of snow. A lot of the days were closed. It was treacherous, and we ended up having to push the school the the school calendar back like an extra week and a half so that we could make up the instructional time. So because of last year, we've been going to school for an extra ten minutes every day this year. To my knowledge, we've more than made up for the snow times we snow days we had yes or last year, so there's no excuse. You know, even even on a scared like potential possibility, at least call a delay. School bus drivers love delays. Some more than others. Most of them will like it because they get paid more. Two hour delays are not the same for school bus drivers. They're more of one hour delays. It gives us an extra hour to be on the clock to make sure that our buses don't have any mechanical issues, that they're nice and warmed up, that they're clear of all the ice and, and you have plenty of time to get where you need to go as safely as possible. So delays, I'm all for delays. Yes, it messes up my schedule for the rest of the day, but as far as me trying to make some money, I'm all about getting paid. Um, and at that point, I'm all about delays. They didn't even call a delay. And I've been on staff at a point where it was very difficult to get in. They called a one hour delay. All right, 
We're cool in our heels at the office. We're trying, we're, we're not allowed to go out to our buses because apparently the parking lot was covered as a sheet of ice. So we just sat there and waited. One hour delay went by. They called a two hour delay, waiting for the sun to come up to melt some stuff to make it less treacherous. Two hours went by, nothing had changed. They finally called it. And I mean, it's inconvenient to be out there but at least back in the day, they just called a delay. There was no excuse to not call a delay that first Tuesday when we had plenty of instructional time already covered in the books. You know, we're not worried about what if we're not gonna have enough time. There are, are tons of policies in place that if, they're, if, if school teachers, if the county itself, if people are not happy with the instructional time that they're getting in public schools, we can we have people that we can lobby to within our government systems to say hey my students not learning what they're supposed to be learning for basic skills of life whole nother story for a whole nother day and i am not well versed in any of that politics stuff but there was no excuse and eventually when they had the board meeting a day or two later he apparently our our superintendent apparently apologized on a piece of paper and I don't know about you I, I'm very thankful that I was not in it I had already quit my job so I didn't even have to deal with any of that stuff but to all of my bus driver friends that did have to go through it I'm so sorry that you had to go through it and for all the noobs that are just joining us be prepared something crazy like this will most likely happen at least once every year because it, it's happened at least the last three to five years that I've been driving a school bus so be prepared. Yes. Um, I don't mind an apology. I don't mind people telling me that they're wrong. I don't mind admitting when I'm wrong. If you tell me the error of my ways, I will absolutely apologize if I feel that I was in the wrong. But an apology doesn't mean anything if you don't learn from it. I used to tell the kids because they their first response is, oh, I did something wrong. I'm so sorry. Apologize with your actions. A written apology or a verbal apology means nothing if you are not learning from the situation. If you apologize for not calling a delay before, call one when we have inclement weather, you know, in the future. Fast forward to today. The sun is shining. There's nothing on our sidewalks. There's nothing on our roads. So, and Prince William County is pretty big. Yes, I went ahead and told you closer to where I am. Feel free to stalk me all you want. I carry a very heavy flashlight. Hiya. So, um, it's a very big county and apparently they gave us a two hour delay today because of ice. My question is, where was this ice? Was this ice mysteriously somewhere in Woodbridge that somebody couldn't get out of their, you know, east side house area? Usually we blame Bull Run Mountain for all the different weather delays and inclinations. And I mean, there could have been snow still up on the mountain, but there's been plenty of sunshine within the last 48 hours that you could have either gotten it cleared up or the county could have taken care of it. Now that we've had that first terrible Tuesday, the county knows. And now they're very, very like overly concerned to the fact that now we're getting a two hour delay and we don't really understand why we're getting a two hour delay. So I'm not complaining because two hour delays are awesome for us. Mm. Especially when you never want to get out of bed. But when you become a bus driver, you learn to become a morning person. You learn how to deal with mornings. And now I'm getting ready to reset my clock so I can make, make, more, make more sleep happen in my life. And potentially I'll continue to be healthier and healthier. Of course, you can't tell right now with all the post-nasal sinus. We will get there slowly but surely. Be careful with that and enjoy, please, and thank you. Um, I hope that this rant had some sort of meh. All I know is that sometimes when I get angry and I let things well up within me, I end up saying stupid things. But uh, and that's a whole nother, I need to cut off here. Ice and snow rant, done.